I tell you something, you see, guys. Sometimes, <clears throat> this is how life is. When one, one door closes, another one opens. When you get disappointment in one area, go to the other. Don't make anything stop you because look at this. I first started trying to do the live. <clears throat> I tried to do the live using this here. This is a, you see this? This is, you know, the one that you stick on the mirror. Okay, you use it in your car. And, and so I was trying to use it in the bathroom. So I had it stuck on the mirror. And that's what kept giving problems. And so I had to just go and draw for this one that I usually leave in the kitchen for when I'm doing a cooking video. This one is a standing tripod. It's a standing tripod with the area for the two, to put the two phones. So I just had to draw for it and we are back in business. All right. Um, I apologize for that though, guys. I sincerely do apologize. But here we go. But y'all know how the thing go. JY coming at the chat and start them both use up my hand them. I'ma just lose it. <laughs> One J why I tell me semi and them can I use up. I just lost it, guys. But anyway, I am back. Thank you all for staying with me. And those of you who have come back to join the live, thank you so much. I am putting in this coloring in my hair because I want the ends of my hair to be blonde-ish. Yes. I'm, re I'm really going to color it red. But before I color it red, I have to bleach it before I color it red. So that's what I am doing right now. So I'm just, I'm just grabbing a handful of plaques because you see my hair is... Um, is in dread so I'm grabbing a handful of plaits paste it put some um, some of this mixture in it in the other video I showed you the, the video that went awry I showed you how I mixed this bleach with the bleaching powder and the developer all right and I'm just going to wrap it with some foil paper there it is so welcome guys how is everybody's wednesday going i hope everybody's having a fantastic wednesday guys you see me i don't usually have bad days <laughs> honestly speaking i don't usually have bad days because i can turn any bad day into a great day that is me. I can turn any bad day into a great day. And that's what you all should do. Let nobody steal your joy. Let nobody steal your thunder. Enjoy your life because it's one life to live. And at the end of it, nobody's going to ask you, what did I think about your choices? Or what did anybody else think about your choices? At the end of the day, you are going to be answering for yourself and it's going to be what you did or didn't do in your life you ever seen some old people they get to a certain age and they regret everything they regret everything i've met some old people who they are filled with nothing but regret they regret the person they married they regret they regret not having run away. They regret, regret not having moved. They regret not having done this, not having done that. But at the end of the day, regret is not worth one darn thing. So get up, guys. Get up and do what you got to do. Let no one stop you, regardless of what they think about what you are doing. They can continue to think all they want and think whatever they want. You just need to get up and do what you need to do for you. My friend Melmar. Melmar, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. What you been up to, my friend? See me here coloring my hair? Yeah, you know these hands. I use these hands for a lot of things. Oh, yes. I use these hands to do a lot of things. 
And whatever I'm doing, I love using my hands. I love to use my hands to do stuff. Cook and bake and do my own hair and my my nails. I, ju I just don't like to have to do my nails because when I have to cook, I hate when I'm cooking and my nails, you know, have polish on them. So oftentimes I just don't bother to do my nails. Right, Melmore? Yeah, I just, um, I just leave them just like nature gave them to me. All right. Guys, it's coming on nicely, don't you think? All right. <laughs> right. Oh, it must have been meant for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Whatever you got to do, I tell you, my friend, get up and go do what you got to do. And in Jamaica, we say, no, we don't watch no fierce. I tell you all, once upon a time, I used to be, I used to be bad, you know, where it comes to getting up and, you know, doing something. I would be so afraid of what people were going to think. Oh, my God. I used to be so afraid. Oh my God, people are going to think this. People are, what are people going to think? Nowadays, whatever you think, it is your problem. None of mine. None of mine. If you provoke me to wrath, and I feel like if I tell you something that you think is out the way, it's going to ease my spirit, I'm going to tell you and keep it moving. Next time you will know, don't provoke me. If you don't like it, next time, don't provoke me. All right? But I always give fair warning. All right? Yeah, I usually give fair warning. But people think they can push you to the edge, provoke you to wrath, and then when you stand up for yourself, they say, oh, you see how she steer? Yeah, yes. Me know you see how me steer. Yes. Yes, that is... One thing that I've noticed with people, they have this, uh, this bad habit of pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you to the edge as though you are not human, as though you are not supposed to stand up for yourself. These people are like bullies, you know, they provoke you, provoke you because they think that, um, they think, oh, maybe if you are a Christian, you know, they don't expect you to cuss if you are a Christian. If you're a Christian, they expect you to turn the other cheek. Oh, Lord, they expect you to turn the other, turn the other cheek to your mama. Me not turning no other cheek. Nope. Me not turn. <laughs> Sasha Boo. Sometimes I'm just wrong. <laughs> I had to whisper that. Sasha Boo. Yeah, you know what I mean? There you go. You know? Yeah, people think they can push you, push you, push you, push you, push you. And you must turn the other cheek all the time. And they tell you, oh, Jesus says to forgive 70 times 7. Yeah, Jesus say you must forgive 70 times 7. He never say you must push me 70 times 7. All right? So if you push me 70 times 7, whatever you get, you deserve. Right? Sasha Boo says, I am good. Sugar, I am here, darling. I am having a great Wednesday. You see me here doing one piece of funka funka here? You see it? Me and my hair. I'm trying to color the end of my hair. Well, I'm coloring all of it, actually. But the end, I am putting... I'm bleaching the end, so. <laughs> yes, Melbar. Doing one piece of flanka flanka here, me love. Yes, I'm just, just coloring it. Guys, you ever color your hair? Jesus, the coloring. Me said the something stink to the eyes, heavens. Stink? No stink? Yeah, man. I think that is the ammonia in it. It has a very pungent smell. Very pungent. 
yeah holy mackerel yeah so <laughs> it's there yes there you go melmar it is their thought it is their thought not not your reality yeah people be people try to control you try to keep you down with their thoughts oh me not think you have to do that oh me not think so and so and so oh me. listen get up this day get up here this day and do what you have to do do what you must do and let no one tell you not to do what you must do for you all right at the end of the day you're going to be sorry you didn't do this sorry you didn't do that sorry you ever hear in jamaica what they say sorry can't buy soja larry <laughs> that is so true sorry can't buy soja larry so don't don't be you know don't put off everything and not do everything you gotta do because you are afraid of what people are going to say. And then at the end of your days, you'll be so sorry you didn't do this. You'll be so sorry you didn't do that. You'll be so sorry. Reach out to people. If you want, if you want something, you want to do something, you see somebody else doing it. I mean, not everybody are going to want to help you, you know, but reach out to people and say, you know, I see you do such and such and such. I would love to do it. There are some people who would be happy and willing to help you and there are others who are going to say everything on us the people don't want to do well the world is out there for everybody and there's a piece of the pie for everybody everybody can get a piece of the pie so if somebody said that to you don't pay them no mind just move on to the next person because you'll be surprised there are people out there who are willing to share their knowledge willing to help you Yes, there are people out there who are willing. Don't just throw in the towels and say you can't. Because if somebody had told me, if somebody had told me two years ago, three years ago, that I was going to feel like this right now, I would have said, hey, no. I would have said, no, I am not coming out of my shell. Nobody going to see me present my vulnerabilities to the world on social media on youtube now it will never happen it could have never happened i used to say that that wouldn't happen and look at me now and look at me now yeah i mean vulnerabilities and all out there vulnerabilities and all yeah because i'm i'm not worried about what people say or what people think anymore I am living my life for me. Because when this life is over, it's my life that will be over. Not our lives, but mine. Yes, my life that will be over, not ours. Yes, yeah, so that's why I am no longer worried about what people think. No longer worried. You guys, look at me doing my hair. Okay. Guys, it's fun to be able to do things for yourself. You don't have to wait to go to a hairdresser to go do stuff. Especially if you're like me who... I'm not worried about if my hair falls out. I know my hair is not going to fall out. I have been doing my own hair since I was a teenager. I plait it. I perm it. I can row it. I do anything and everything that needs to be done to it. And when I'm ready to, to cut off these, these locks, I'm just going to pull a scissors right on through it, cut it on out. And move right along. It is here. It will grow back. So I'm not even worried. Put my little foil paper on it. Wrap it up. Squeeze it up like that. And there it is. Alright. 
All right. Grab another little bundle here. Here's my other little bundle. I'm going to put the dye on the end. Guys, remember, I'm not no professional here, just so you know. I am just showing you all what I do for myself. What I do for myself. You can do it all you choose. If you want to go to the hairdresser, go ahead. Me not stop you. Go to the hairdresser if you choose to. But I do this all by myself. Yeah, this looks like it needs a little more. Then I wrap it up like this. Wrap it up. There we go. Let me grab another little bundle here. All right, and we're going to put some more. some more of this cream on it and guys you can always use whatever cream you see whatever bleaching powder you see in the store that you like if it's cheaper whichever one you use with whatever you like I bought the one that was cheaper because it ain't that serious it is not that serious for me to go buy something that's going to break the bank just so I can just so I can color my hair. There it is. I'm not worried about it. All right, so welcome, welcome guys. Welcome into welcome into the live as you all be watching me put this um, put this coloring bleaching in my hair I usually bleach my hair at this time of the year bleach the ends of my hair because I want like a red a reddish hue so I usually bleach it at this time of the year and then I color it. Then I color it red. But I must bleach out the black first. Then once I've bleached out the black, then it will take the color better. And you can do it at home. You can do it yourself. You can do it yourself, guys. Use up your hands and do it yourself. There it is. I have a few more in the back. I won't be able to see the back, but I'm going to judge it. Yeah. I won't be able to see it, but I'm going to judge the back and then um Yeah, there it is. Welcome, guys. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more in darkness. No more light. Now I'm so happy. No sorrows inside. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Patricia, now you see what I am doing here, fixing up my hair, yeah, coloring up this fellow here, yeah, how have your day been going, I hope you are having a fantastic Wednesday, I woke up in a great mood and I am having a fantastic day so far, Right now, I am messing with my hair, messing with my dreads, you know, giving myself a new look. Yeah, new look. A little bit of a reinvention, if you will. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> so glad to see you. Just fixing this up because later on today I will be off to work. So I got this little new look for the this little new look for the weekend, guys. Y'all know what I mean, right? A little new look for the weekend. A little new look for the weekend. We will see what I'm going to do this weekend. I don't know what I'm I don't even know what I'm gonna do this weekend. I'm off this weekend and I got no clue. I haven't planned yet what I'm going to do, except for, <laughs> except for Saturday night. Simple things. How are you doing, my lovely love? How are you doing, my darling? You see me here, simple things, doing this. Thank you, thank you, in around with my hair. Yes, simple things. How are you doing, my love? Good to see you. I'm fixing up my hair. I'm coloring the ends of my hair simply. Well, actually, I'm coloring the entire the entire head. But I'm doing the ends. I'm bleaching the ends so that I can color the ends red. But because my hair is black, I have to bleach it out first and then <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. There was one before, simple things that I was doing just before this one that I, I showed the starting process of what I was doing and the camera fell down and the whole thing mash up. <laughs> the camera fell down, simple things, and the whole thing mash up. So I had to go get another source to hold my camera. So that's why I had to restart it. But I did not restart from the beginning. So the other one, I'm not taking it down. The other one has, it, it, the other one is showing the things that I'm using to, to color my hair. All right, I got one more little patch back here. One little patch back here. <laughs> yes, that's simple thing. The whole thing tumbled down. The whole thing tumbled down a minute into the live. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, what in the world? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so I had to start it all over. I had to go get this thing here. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> so now, there it is. All right, guys. So see there? I have, I think that's it. All right, that looks like it. All right, I still have, I still have these gloves on. But I'm going to take one off because that is indeed candid camera. The whole thing tumbled down. All right, I'm taking that glove off because I'm going to be coloring the roots. You see, I show you guys the roots have a little bit of gray, some grays, you know. I do a little bit of rejuvenating. You know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So, 
this is the one that I'm going to use, this black one here. This is from the Dollar Tree, guys. You know me. I don't do expensive. This is from the Dollar Tree. At Walmart, it's like 6 bucks. At CVS, it's like $8. At Dollar Tree, $1. <laughs> okay. So that's the one I'm using. And it comes with the tube of the coloring and also a bottle of developer. And what you do is you put the... You put this one, the tube with the coloring in the developer, and you shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and it gets a little bit warm. That means it's ready. Flip the top off. There's a little, there's a little top on it. Put that in the trash. I missed the trash right there. Where is the thing that I had? Okay, I'll use that. All right, and then I'm just going to be putting this in the roots, to the roots of my hair, okay? So I put it, do, 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 and I use my, this hand that has the, I use this hand that has the glove on. I'm not taking off that glove, or maybe I should. But I'm not. And then I just put it in. Don't worry. Go ahead, darling. Do what you got to do. Thank you for coming, my dear Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pat. Right? Then I put this on the root area. Guys, remember, I am not a hairstylist. But I do my own hair. And I am just sharing with you what I do when I color. I cut I do whatever it is that I need to do to my hair. I do it. Have a fantastic day, my friend Patricia. Yes. Whatever needs to be done to my hair, I do it. So it's not because it is quarantine time or whatever. Quarantine did not affect me in that, in that instance. Because I've always done my own hair. So with or without quarantine i was not worried about not being able to go to the hairdresser not being able to go do this go do that yeah i was not worried right and i'm going to put that in there you know i'm usually worried about the grays that are in the front more than i'm worried about the grays elsewhere because the grays in the front usually show up more and it's nothing that I have against being older and having gray hair. It's just that sometimes I would love to have, to see my hair, you know, dark all around. Yes, I don't have a problem. Yes, I don't have a problem with being older. Everybody knows I'm older. Everybody knows I got five kids. Everybody knows I got three grandbabies. Everybody knows I'm way up in age. Everybody knows that. So, I don't have a problem with it. But sometimes I want to, you know, it gives you a little, a little different look. I don't want to say a youthful look because I would never want to be a youth again. If I could, if, if I had, if I had a choice, if I had a choice, I would stay right at this age forever. If I had a choice, yeah. This is like the perfect age to be, you know. Watch it. All right, that what that piece of uh, paper fall out or something go and be extra black without any coloring. <laughs> you know that happens sometimes. Yes, yeah, simple thing. Yeah, for special occasions, you know. And this happens when you, you know, you don't have eyes behind your head and you're not looking, you're not able to see behind, you don't know what's going on back there. So I'm just putting, I'm just putting the coloring back there and hope and pray to God that it touches the right spots. <laughs> ah, oh, you and I are pretty close in age, sugar. You and I are pretty, pretty close in age. Oh, yes, I... I love the age I'm at, you know. Yes, it's a good age to be. Good, good, good age to be. I love. 
I love this age with all the experiences and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So to make sure that I put it in the right spots, I put it in my hand and then I just massage it in back there because I'm not able to see back there. I'm not able to see back there. You know, usually if my if my daughter is here, she would tell me, you know, mommy, put it right there, put it right there. <laughs> put it right there, put it right there. Yeah. But since she's not here, I just got to remember where I felt my hand the last time and then put it in the other place. Yes, guys, go ahead. Connect, connect, connect with each other. Connect with each other. I don't have a problem with that. Here we go. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, there we go. And that is what we are doing. Right there. All right. I think I can feel the dye everywhere in my head. Right now. I think I can feel it everywhere. So I'm going to, they say to leave it in for about, 45 minutes, 45 minutes is a mighty long time for me to leave this mess in my head. This thing's a smell to the highest heavens. <laughs> I have to die your hair, guys. It smells to the highest heavens. Oh my word. This thing smell like ammonia or something like that. All this crap we put in our head. Oh my word, we go. All this crap we're putting in our head can't be good for us, I swear. Believe me, my friends. It cannot be good for us. Cannot be. We're putting all this dye and stuff and knowing how the skin, how the skin, this big organ, the, the skin is the largest organ of the body. And the, the skin, knowing that the skin can absorb all of the mess that is in this thing here. I wonder, what are we exposing ourselves to? I worry about it all the time, but you know. One life to live. All right, this is finished. So, watch you guys. A little bit of it cut on my hand here. But, still going to move right along. Uh, simple thing says, you use permanent or rinse. Let me see what this say. Permanent. Permanent. Yes. That's what I use. That's what's at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's what's at the Dollar Tree. So, that's what I use. Yes. Permanent. Yeah, this will last me for a few months before the grays start showing up again. Maybe by Christmas time, I might color it again. Maybe by Christmas time. And then I got to gotta make a phone call to my grandbaby. Today's her birthday. And Susie, I haven't called her yet. And that is not right. Yeah, her Susie hasn't called her yet, so it is going to be something. I'm going to hear about it. Let me see what she is going to say to me when I tell her happy birthday. <laughs> Let's see. So how you been, simple things? What's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Simple things said. If a dollar tree by next week, me have to do it over no, sir. Not at all. It's the same one. It's the same brand that is sold at Walmart for six, seven dollars. It's the same one that is sold at CVS. All of it. It is the same thing. I'm not spending a ton of money on stuff like that. Uh -uh. Not at all. Not at all. Mm. 
not one bit so they say to let it let it sit for some time uh -huh. good morning honey where's my birthday baby Zena. He said, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping she would come to the phone. Oh my God. Zayla. <laughs> come and talk to you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come, Zayla. See? The same, the very, very, very same thing. It's at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. It's the very same thing. Yeah. Mommy, you say you to me more leave, you know. Where is she? Guys. Hi, Zay Zay. Happy birthday, baby. Uh, what are you going to do for your birthday? You don't know? Oh. You want me to sing happy birthday for you? Guys, I got to ask permission with this one because if I don't ask her permission, she will tell me no, 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 no. I can't just be at liberty and sing happy birthday for this grandbaby. She she will shut me down. <laughs> Come, Zay Zay. Zay Zay. You want me to sing happy birthday for you? She's like, yeah, she's ready for dance. Oh, she's ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zella. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday to you. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Scotty, I'll call you later. I'm on live. Bye. All right, sugar, love you. Talk to you later. All right. Love ya. Love ya. <laughs> Yeah, guys oh my god i tell you this age is a good age because at this age with grandbabies and grown children it's a good age good good age but guys i'm holding this in my hair for maybe the next uh, 10 or so minutes so that it can it can soak up all the goodness so <laughs> Thank you, sympathies. Yeah, she turns four, a big, big four. Big, big four. She got all the arguments you can think of. She knows everything. <laughs> and she don't play. You cannot just do just about anything to her or for her. You better ask. <laughs> you have to ask her, can I give you a bath? Is it okay for me to give you a bath? She used the bathroom and she wants help. And you still got to ask her, is it okay for me to help you? Because if you think that because your grandma, you're just going to go grab tissue and go wipe her tail. She, she no, no. She will shut you down. So even to sing happy birthday for her, I got to ask her if it's okay. If she's ready for me. And I better hurry up before she change her mind. <laughs> That kid has a personality that is out of this world. Mm -mm. You can't just say anything you want. You can't just do anything you want. You don't think that you're just going to make eggs and give her for breakfast. She, I did not say I wanted eggs. <laughs> I didn't want any eggs. I should not eat it. You're going to have to find her something else. Well, I made eggs for you. Well, you should have asked. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she and I always get into it because I'm just like, you know what? I'm making eggs for breakfast, eggs for breakfast, eggs for, eggs for breakfast, toast and whatever. And she'll be like, Susie, did I tell you I wanted eggs? 
No, you didn't. But I just thought everybody was going to eat eggs. Well, you should have asked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my word. Grandchildren are so much fun. So much fun. I don't know where she get it from because she's nothing like her mama. Her, her mama would be docile and say, okay, mommy. It's okay. I just have the eggs. No, no, no. Not this one. She ain't playing. It's <laughs> The simple things I tell you with this one, you better ask her everything. Everything. Don't just don't just put out clothes for her to wear. Uh-uh. She'll ask you. I didn't tell you I wanted to wear a trousers. I didn't tell you I wanted a red blouse. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have learned since she was able to talk that she is like that. So I know my place. <laughs> I know my place. I have to ask her everything. If it's something I'm giving her to eat, if whatever. Would you like that? Would you? And I know some people say, oh, I pit them. Whatever me give them, I them have to take. No, so mm -mm. you have to encourage them. To encourage them to maintain their individuality. Because you don't want them to just go out there and just be sheep. Just following. Just following. Somebody give them something and they don't question it. They just follow. They just... No, no I don't want that. So I really, really do love her personality. That she... She will tell you she don't want it. And she will stand up for herself. And she said, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want eggs. Because I didn't... And I don't know if she does this because... If it's, if it's a rebellion, because I didn't tell you I want eggs, so I'm not going to eat it. How dare you give me eggs? I think that's what it is. Because she's too young. She's not at that developmental age to understand the consequences of not eating the eggs and eating something else. Or not eating something else and eating the eggs because you have already prepared it. She's not at that developmental stage yet. But she sure does know what she wants and what she does not want. So you don't think that you can just give her anything and she's going to take it. She said, no, I didn't tell you I wanted eggs. And she's not, she not going to eat it. I didn't tell you I wanted to wear a red blouse. And you say, well, everybody else is wearing red blouse. Well, I want green. And she is determined, hell-bent. And you cannot change her mind because she will not do what everybody else does. And I love that about her. I love it. Because the children, the children don't have to be following everything we say. And change is beautiful. Change is beautiful. It's not like we were kids and we were taught like you don't question adults and whatever adults say they are right. And uh-uh, uh-uh. I believe in children having a questioning mind. I believe in the curiosity of a child. I love when children are curious, when they want to know things, when they want to discover things, when they want to explore. I love to see children do that. And it's only for us to channel that energy in a positive area. Rather than beat them down and say, Yeah, pit nigga longer sit on one side. No, 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 no. 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 They need to they need to explore the world around them, make new discoveries, you know, in, interact with everything that is around them. You just have to provide safety, guidance, and direction, and help them not to harm themselves or anybody else. But let the, let the kids explore. Let the kids explore. She was here with me the other day and she wanted to. She said she wanted to go dig for diamonds. <laughs> she says, she says, Susie, did you know that they find diamonds under the ground? I said, oh, really? They do? She says, yes. That's where they find diamonds. I said, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> she said, and I can dig for some diamonds. I said, okay. I gave her the shovel. <laughs> I gave her the shovel, I tell you, my friends. 
and went with her outside and boy she started digging with the shovel digging with the shovel so what you digging for zezé she digging for diamonds and she dug with that shovel until she was tired she didn't find any any diamonds she said she will go back another day to dig for diamonds so <laughs> oh yes so it's just the curiosity is that my friend sidani in the house sidani johnson how are you doing, my dear? How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. Good to see you. See, simple, simple things here with me. As I... Hold on, let me get a piece of sickness. So. Yeah, as I um, color my hair... And do all these good things to my hair. <laughs> yes, me, I gotta see if it catch right. Cause chances are it might not catch right. <laughs> Simple says a lot of us were limited because the adults in our life impose their wants on us. Yes, there are cases where they shouldn't allow us, they should have allowed us to choose exactly. I agree a hundred percent. Yes. But you see, they taught us how they were taught. You see what I mean? Why is that getting dark? Yes, they taught us how they were taught. Hold on there. I don't know what's going on here, but if it is charging problem, let's fix it. All right. Oh yeah, it is charging problem. Almost went out of charge. Okay. Yes, guys. So this here is this here. Yes, I believe so to to simple things. Yes, they should have allowed us to choose. But they didn't allow us to choose. They, they had to choose for us. You can't do this and you can't go down there. So I, I, will, I will always talk about it. I remember when I was growing up, my sister used to be a, my sister used to be an A-class runner, track and field runner. She could run. Oh my God. She could run. And she trained and she trained and she trained. And I remember when, I remember when it was time, I think they wanted to, she was up for, you know, back then they used to say like, you know, like veer by you are so. And my mama said, hell no. Mama said, nope. No, you're not going away. You're not going away and stuff. And I, I know my sister was disappointed. She never, she never pursued it anymore. She didn't pursue track and field anymore because she, you know, my mom wasn't into it, you know, her going away, far away and stuff like that. But I mean, it was what my mom knew. But these days, if my children want to go anywhere, I don't have a problem. Go on, go, go. There's a big world out there. Try to be safe, but go ahead, explore the world. Go ahead, maximize your potentials. You know, just be a good person to those you meet. Be a good person to everybody. Guys, unless you said something now, bleach out the ear. Simple things. I know the ear and the bleach out, you know. It's how long it's supposed to stay. Because until now, I don't see one bit of color gone out <laughs> simple things i don't see one bit of color gone out of the earring you see anything no sir but all that bleach i'm gonna put in there 
underneath the fag paper probably getting bleached but the part outside i don't see anything coming out i don't see anything everything all of it is still is still the same color Oh Lord, what a night, what a night, what a Saturday night. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Simple things now go make me. <laughs> Simple things. Simple things now go, make, now go make me live down that. You know that happened to my sister because sports is on Sabbath. Yes, mama didn't allow her to go to girls champs and she was a top athlete. She became so rebellious. That was the same thing with my sister. Same thing. Mama say everything was going to be on Sabbath and all the time they had the training. They had the training them like, um, you know, upper pound. I don't know. I don't know if you're from St. Anne. But upper pound, they play the ball field where they're right beside the cemetery. Yes, you know. So, upper pound area there. So, every, they used to have all the runnings and everything. All the track and field meets and stuff like that. And my mama said, no, sir. And I got to be Sabbath. I don't know, they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just went on and on and on. And my sister was so disappointed and she was angry. Angry, angry, angry. Because, you know, so if your parents are not behind you, are not supporting you with your dreams, you know, you, you, you sort of lose that desire. You know what I mean? You lose that desire. You know, and sometimes we say, you know, parents know best, but sometimes, you know, as parents, we have to allow our children to choose and we got to support their dreams. And if, if her, her dream was to run, I believe she would have been successful at it because she was very, very, very good. She never lost a race. Never lost a race. Ever. We run at school. She never lost a race at school. We will go to, um... We go to the St. and the meets where all the schools would meet up up there at Pawn and run. And she never lost. And when we would go to, you know, Pathfinders, Pathfinders used to have the Pathfinders, the churches. We would, you know, compete against each other. So my sister never lost a race. Never lost a race. She was, she was that good. Me, only thing we can run on my mouth. <laughs> Not nails. Everybody would say, you are so tall with them long legs. Why child, please. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can run my mouth. I ain't going to be running nothing. And they put me in a race. If you all put me in this race, you are planning to lose, right? <laughs> you know, if you put me in the race, you are planning to lose. They put me in the race and I just go, ju, ju, ju. I will never forget. My teacher was like, Yes, Trev, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. He had so much faith in me. Yes, you can do it. Go, go put me in their race. Lord Jesus. I said, I into this running thing. He says, yes, man, stretch your legs and run. And Oh, my God, guys. I went jogging, jogging, jogging. <laughs> I went jogging, jogging. I said, eh, eh, put me in a race to run my mouth, but don't put me in a race to run with these legs, because I ain't nothing ain't happening. Uh, you gonna lose. Look at my cousin Ali. Ali is in the house, guys. Simple things. I think you have Ali. Ali, you have simple things. What? <laughs> Ali said, what color today? <laughs> Mr. Ali, simple things over here giving me all that I'm looking for, because guess what? Me using the Dollar Tree ear color that I always use and simple things is making me change my mind. But I'm not changing my mind or my pocket. Because it's a dollar for it at the Dollar Tree. And I was trying to do the ends to make the ends a little blondish. But Ali, it's been 45 minutes since I've already put the coloring at the end. And if you can see what I can see, it's still black. <coughs> See that? The end, the end is still black. See there? <laughs> See there? It ain't bleach out. Nothing. But the one I use um, for the for the bleach is not. The bleach I have is not uh, is not from the Dollar Tree. 
I bought this one. It's it's just a little bit of powder in there. It's for two dollars. And this one is called Powder Lightener Lift Up. But it look this one was not the Dollar Tree. This was a, one was at the at the hair shop. Lolly bought this one in Miami and brought it for me. But but I don't know. You're not you're not you're not doing a Jesus thing, guys. You know I do nothing. Because look, look. It, it's still, it's still dark. It's still dark at the ends. It's not doing anything. Holy mackerel. Simple things, you know, you think, I think you were right, you know. <laughs> Simple things. Now, now you got Alicia to join you. Ali has joined you in saying that this is not doing a Jesus thing. Let me open one of them. It's been 45 minutes. They say to keep it for 45 minutes. So it's um, 45 minutes have passed. Now I say a thing, boy. <laughs> Simple thing said, I say a thing more about the Dollar Tree brand. Lord of his mercy. All right. Well, the Dollar Tree did its thing because the Dollar, the, the Dollar Tree colored in here black. But let me see if this one here did anything to the outside. Let me see. This was the first one I did. So I'm going to open it up. <laughs> Your lips are sealed. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let me see here. Look there, guys. Look at it, guys. Oh, no. 45 minutes. Not a thing. It's it. It's barely. Look at it. Barely anything. Ali said the white packet one will work. But it not work for mine, Ali. Why? It not work for mine. Could I? Look at it. There's... There's really, you see the struggle, the real struggle we're going through here. See there? Not a Jesus thing. So I look like I'm going to have to put some more. Holy mackerel. See there? Nothing at all. It not bleach it at all. And they said was to, and I did it based off of the, based off of the, the the instruction the directions you know with the packet and the thing and see it there look like me have to put some more in there jesus yeah look like i have to put some more in there because i wanted the contrast <laughs> ali ali will make you a laugh of tommy so jesus of mercy yes the dollar tree chia how are you doing I'm so glad to see you, Chia. So glad to see you, my friend, Desreen. Desreen is another of my faithful travelers in the house. Yeah, look there. Nothing at all. Nothing. It not, it not bleach out for 45 minutes. They say 45 minutes. And for 45 minutes, nothing barely happened. It did not bleach out at all like I wanted it to. So... I give a zero. <laughs> Listen to me, not cheer. L Listen to me, not cheer. <laughs> You're going to leave me lovely, me lovely naps you now. You're going to leave me lovely naps alone. All right? All right. <laughs> it can't even bleach. It's tough till it can't bleach. <laughs> Come on, Chia. You have to be nice. Be nice. Be nice. All right? Be nice. Be very nice. Okay? Mister, guys, this something. This something no bleach one bit. No believe it. Not one bit. Then I saw. But if I keep it in any eh, too much longer. Yes, I hear stubborn. <laughs> But I true no I tell still. I true no I tell. He is a here stubborn brother. 
Me say this something no bleach, nothing at all. What a something. Could you guys? Oh my word. Look there. Not a thing. 45 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Chia says, that won't last long. You will be over that dread thing. I'm here waiting for the cut. I one year know me dread me ear now, Chia. One year. Since last year, August. Me start dread it. So watch yourself. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Me love the dread. It's easy maintenance. I just wash it, plait it with some leave-in conditioner, and then open it up, and I'm good to go. So watch your mouth. Just a bleach something here now work. That bleach something here now work, guys. <laughs> exactly, Ali. Desreen, that's what it is. The bleaching is going to be anything it turned out to be this time, so because... Apparently, it's not going to be the color that I wanted at all. See there? It's something not bleach, nothing. Look there. You see, guys? Nothing. It no bleach. It no bleach, nothing at all. It's something not bleach. And look from when I have the bleach in my head. It says 45 minutes. Alright, guys. So now you all know that... This bleaching powder called Kiss is no good. Yeah, this bleaching powder called Kiss, it, it not do what it says. It says 45 minutes. It's been over 45 minutes. And see them, I have to be putting more bleach in it. I have to be putting more bleach on the ends of my hair. No, in a tangle. In a tangle, it just not take the bleach. That's all. It just not taking the bleach. Not tangled, just see there, it not bleach. Head tough, man, head tough, head tough, very tough. <laughs> head tough, Chia. Head tough, Ali, no bleach at all. No bleach, not one bit. Now we all know never to shop for your <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my lord. I've never been this disappointed. Look there, guys. I've never been this disappointed. Oh, my word. Look there. All the things full up, full up of, the, of the stuff. And no color. No change in color. No change in color whatsoever. Isn't that a shame? It is a shame. Big old shame. So now I'm putting the... <coughs> Thank you, sugar. It's mutual, my love. It's all mutual. <laughs> Boy, I don't roast me good today, no man, with this bleach. You don't roast me good. <laughs> oh my God. My soul. Oh my God. There you go. There you go, simple things with my cousin Ali. Yeah, that is my cousin there. Yeah. She do some good things over there. Over there on her channel. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Alright, guys. Boy, I was hoping to wow you all with the... <laughs> I was hoping... To wow you all. But you see, that's how life is. That's how life is. Sometimes our hopes and our realities. Our hopes and our realities are not the same. We have hopes and dreams of some things. But the reality is that it will never happen. It may not happen. Chances are it will never happen. See? I had great hopes that by the time I took this out... I was going to have nice blonde ends to my hair. So, so I put it in and was waiting. And oh my God, it didn't work out. <laughs> it did not work out. But guess what? 
The good thing is about it is that you don't give up. That's how life is sometimes. Things don't work out the way you expect them to. You might think you have done everything right. I thought I followed the instructions and I thought I did the right thing. And lo and behold, I did not get the results I was expecting. And that is how life is, guys. You may not get the results you are expecting. You go into a marriage feeling all safe about it, feeling like you're in love, feeling like this person got to be my boas, and instead, him turn out to be your boa constrictor. <laughs> instead, he turns out to be your boa constrictor. And before you know it, you... <laughs> Before you know it, you are trying to breathe, just to breathe. And it is not happening because he's constricting the daylights out of you. Yeah, constricting every breath out of you. That's how life is. But the thing you do not do is that you don't give up. You don't give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to put what's left on the ends of my hair. And hope that at least a little bit of color comes in so that I can use it. A little bit of color might come in. Welcome to my dear friend Teresa, another of my lovely travelers there. That is Teresa. Good morning, Teresa. How are you doing, my love? Teresa, it looks like you've come to rescue me, sister. <laughs> it looks like you have come to rescue me. Because they are not letting me live down the effects of this, of this Dollar Tree, of this Dollar Tree coloring that I'm putting in my hair. They're not letting me. Let me see what Chia said. Cause Chia, she got a mouth on her and she always got something to say. Let me see what, what she said. Oh, not everyone is a Boaz. And because in your silly small mind, make him a Boaz. When God says, him a no good sinful wretch. <laughs> I saw God tell you. I saw God tell you. Are you still a calling Boaz? <laughs> oh my God. You are something else. I don't know what to do with you. You are something else. I'm so glad to see you. Hope all is well with you, my dear. Hope all is well. I was here trying to color the ends of my hair, but Jesus help me, my dear Teresa. Jesus help me. I have had this thing in here for, <laughs> for, where is my darling, lovely Desireen? Where is my lovely Desireen? Desireen, y'all come, come rescue me from the, from the lips of Chiamaka. Come rescue me from her, Desiree. <laughs> because she is something else. I never see a woman no watch her mouth, so. <laughs> anything come in her mouth, you just say it. Anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. She... <laughs> I need to be rescued from them because, oh my word, this ear coloring, I'm taking out all the file paper because I'm wrapping, even though I wrapped it with the, with the foil paper, it hasn't done anything because the thing still don't work. <laughs> still did not work. And, that, and that's how life is. You do everything you think you're doing right. You do everything you think you're doing right. And you do it thinking you're doing the right thing, thinking that everything is going to be okay. And in the end, let me throw those in the trash. And in the end, it does not come out the way you expected it to. You have to go back to the drawing board. Never be afraid to go back to the drawing board. See, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board with this here. Mrs. Wash out your ear. <laughs> Chia. 
I go and have to submit a product review because this is not ready at all. Watch your chair, so I must wash it out. I agree with your chair. Because next next thing when I go start to wash it out, now the whole head of hair come out. <laughs> the whole head of hair, I'm really going to have to let these people know that this thing don't work. How they say it work. They tell us lies. They trick us. It not work one Jesus bit. It not work at all. Not one bit. Look there. 45 minutes and not a bit of color. See there? The hair is so me. It, it, it coming like Miss Lou, Miss Lou's son. You remember the, you, you all remember the Miss Lou story? Why you come back from far and not peace better than you did go away? <laughs> not even peace better than you did go away. Lord Jesus. Not even, not even little language. Not even little twang. Not, not. <laughs> This not see a all. <laughs> Achia. Me now waste your time, you know. Me now we me, me did send call you. <laughs> oh my god, she you know say only you me can answer that too, right? You know say only you me can answer that too. <laughs> Now that would be a video if my ear drop out. <laughs> no, no, Teresa. I am using this from Dollar Tree, and I am also using this lift up. They say supposed to bleach your hair, and I mix it with the clear all developer that they say is supposed to. It's supposed to make it the clear all developer is supposed to activate the powder and then it, you, it forms a creamy paste and then you put that creamy paste on the area of the hair that you want to bleach but Teresa from I put that thing on my hair I'll know all no, I don't see no color change. See there? Not a thing. Barely, barely anything. And I put it in the consistency that they wanted me to. And nothing. Let me see what she has say. What? <laughs> so we had yoga dollar tree and buy air product to come show. What how it doesn't work? <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, Chia. Chia. This one is from the Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree. This one is from the hair store. With the Clairol. The Clairol is from the hair store. And you mix them together. I should do it in Jamaican way. What? Get some cool head? Like we used to do as teenagers? We used to we used to use Quench Eddie's my number one. Brip, brip, brip. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yes, and they, they used to have the Quench Ed and they used to have area. I use what the people say. Alright, they said to use the clear all. They said to use the clear all and mix it with the powder and the directions is right there and I followed the directions all right i followed the directions and what it says and how long it says to leave it in and i have done that and nothing i don't see any changes in the color of the hair end that i have put that thing on i don't see any changes i barely see any changes see there barely any changes at all barely any changes nothing see there barely any changes at all all it do make my ear feel heavy so i'm going to be washing it out basic white and the powder 
Yeah, I mean, was, uh, this, this is the thing that says it's supposed to be the whitener, the powder lightener. See, the powder lightener. Your head just tough. Uh, what about your business? <laughs> what about your business, Chia? You might be right, you know, but Lord, you never say it. You never say it out so loud. I did not expire, you know. I, I, I did for yesterday, my daughter buy a store. Let me see. If it have an expiration date on it. But I don't see no expiration date on it. I don't see any expiration date on the powder. And on the bottle. Um, let, me, let me see on the bottle. You have a point there. Let me take a look. Let me see if there's any expiration date on the bottle. Mm. I don't see any expiration date, you know. On the top here, so I see a number. That says 035201 and 2135. I don't know if that is supposed to be a, a date because I don't know what date that would be. That would be March 5th, 2000 and something. The, I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, that don't look right. So I, I don't know. You know something, you know something, Chia? It had a smell like an ammonia smell before. Like when I first started doing it, it had this ammonia smell. But I don't know if my the receptors in my nose have adapted to it already. So it, it's not that pungent anymore. So I can hardly even smell that smell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't smell that that pungent smell anymore. I just um I just smell the perm. The, the, not perm. Smell the developer thing. The coloring thing. I'm smelling the mixture. And it just smells normal. It doesn't smell that pungent as it did when I first started it. So, I don't know. I don't know. But me, my ear now go drop off. Natural ear now go drop off. I just, if you have um, the other ear. Guys, this was something. This is a tragedy in of, it, in of itself. A tragedy in of itself, Chia and Teresa. Yes, sir. See there? Nothing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wash it. Wash it out because I've let it stay in there now for an hour, and barely see anything come off of it. Barely anything. See there? Barely any color escape. Barely any color escape it, so I'm gonna have to wash it out and then come back and show you all what it looks like. Let me wash it out. Yep. Me not me not ramp with modest, no modest. Good morning, mad modest. Not even say good morning. Good morning, modest. How you doing, my love? Hope you had a great night. Hope you are having a fantastic day. All right. Now, time to come at me now. <laughs> Let me see what this says. Yes, yes, I'm active in these streets. <laughs> you're something else now. You're something else. Desiree say, Well, Desiree there. Desiree no just comment and say something. Where are they gone? Hold on there, guys. Me know Mr. Desrin said something. Hold on there. Desrin did say something. Watch out. This not so okay. <laughs> How me I going to bring it back? How me I going to bring it back, Des? Let me already use it. My daughter buy to me all the way to Florida and bring it come. But it not ready at all. The last time I saw you, your hair was natural. You said you weren't going to permit. But then... You permed it for that shinding. 
then you cut it all off into Tony Braxton. Yes. And I have not permed my hair since 2008, I believe. Yeah. I haven't permed my hair since then. Yeah. So, I'm working. Can you just wash that thing out of your head, please? And be over it. Don't work. Didn't work. Next, keep it moving. Why don't you keep it moving? You don't got nothing for go do. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Mother says I normally bleach my hair before I, I color it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to bleach out the end. See, me I bleach out the end bleach. The root of it I'm coloring. I'm not bleaching the root. I'm coloring the root with the color. But um but the the ends is what I'm bleaching. I'm trying to bleach the ends, but the bleach modest no catch at all. Bleach no catch at all. Yeah, it feel yeah, it feels if if it feels slipper. Yeah, it feels slipper. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so I'm going to wash it out, yeah, man, because this is not right. It's not bleach of Jesus thing. See the modest? Let me try. See the, yes, look a bit of bleach in a come in right there, so. Look a bit of bleach in a come in right there, so. Look a bit of come in. But I wanted it to do. Yes, I chew. I chew terrace. That's not good for you. I wanted it to bleach out and then I could, um, and then I would color the ends red. It looked like I, the peroxide me should have put on it, but I was trying to follow the directions and it says to use the powder and the clear all and mix it up together in a particular consistency and then put it in. So I was trying to follow the instructions, so, so that's what I did. But I guess sometimes you mustn't follow the instructions. Yes, sir, your hair would be orange already. And that's what I was going for. I wanted it to be, you know, orangish. And then I would put the red, the red U on it. But it now work, it now work out so. So that's all I've got sometimes. When it now work out the way you expect it to, you just wheel and come again. Do something else. Turn your roll. Turn your roll and try something else. And that me I got the right now. Turn my roll, wash it out, and call it a day. Yeah, some people here and and as she has said, tough me head, tough me head probably tough for true. But normally when me, when I would do it, the other the bleaching powder that has the green and purple on it. That one usually works fast for me. But me using this this one here, so my daughter buy care come give me. I me mean, I mean say, alright. Okay, okay, baby. Be safe. Be safe. Yeah, my daughter buy this one care come give me. So I say, alright, let me use it. Let me use it. But I saw it go. She I'm gonna wash it out. And see what come of it. And I'm about to pray so my ear drop out. Because if my ear drop out, I just get the eyebrow razor and just scrape it all off. And start wearing wigs again. Until it come back. Okay, you know what? I was actually talking to my man. Well, one off. But since I'm not appreciated, let me go back. After you're not appreciated there either, you better stay over here. <laughs> Because you'll appreciate it over there, so Ida. So. <laughs> oh my God. What do you mean by you not laugh? You better smile. You better laugh. You know, Teresa, that is true. Stick to the evil women know. I should have gotten the one with the purple and, and green. Because that one I have proven to have worked over and over. I'm going to feel bad, you know. Me feel bad because I was really hoping. I was really hoping to. I was really hoping to to you know have it the way I wanted it. But so it will go. That's how it is going to go. 
there's nothing else me can do to it except me have to go mix up some more i'm not mix up no more i'm not mixing up no more yeah i would have to put some more in it and more more might end up take off the wall of my hair off of my head which me don't want to happen all right i'm gonna wash you out and show you and show you what it look like let me let me go wash it out and i'm going to come back i'm not going to turn the live off because this one is not like stream yard where you can pause it and like put up the little icon emoji this one is not like that this one is different so stream yard was having problems they said their um system was down for a few minutes at the time and i wanted to start and so i had to I had to abort the plans to use StreamYard. So now I've used this one and I'm going to wash it out. And then I'm going to come back. So you all continue to interact in the chat. Cheer. Don't go away. Stay in the chat and entertain them for me, please. And let me go. Let me go wash out this out of my hair. Give me two minutes. Yes, God. Oh, we'll just stop me as so. Clear for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let I walk around the sugar i'm gonna wash this out and come back and show you all what it looks like
Now I'm so happy, no sorrows inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm so glad to live. Hallelujah, hallelujah, with my soul is well. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Across 
Sing, but you're not easy, Mades. <laughs> what? But you're not easy. Oral, how are you doing, sugar? How are you doing? Yeah, mo yes, I was entertaining with my singing, um, Mades. Mades, see the year there? See the year there? Not even piece better than it was before me put the coloring in it. See there? <laughs> Not even peace better. 
See there? No better than it was before. No better than it was before, my friend. So now we know, we really, really know that this, that this thing here don't work. Wait, mommy. No work at all. <laughs> Teresa, my dear Teresa, see there? No color, see there? Barely, 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 see there? Barely, barely. I wanted it to go like an orangish color. And then I would put the red. And then I would put the red dye on it. But nothing. Hey, creativity, crochet. How are you, my love? How are you doing? How are you? See, I scroll up to see who I missed before. But... <laughs> when I was gone when I was gone doing show, some in the show I was singing and see there guys so glad to see you creative guys go check out my friend over there Dana creative crochet she doing some crochet crochet all kinds of crochet things let me show you the last thing I'm crocheting right now oh you're still there Dana see I love to make blankets see I'm making this one yeah, I love the, these colors. Yeah. It's not finished yet. I'm making it for my grandbaby. So I'm I'm making it so it can go. You know, like she can put it like across her bed, a nice little blanket. I'm trying to make one for everybody. So when I when I go on the other side, everybody have a blanket can say, oh you know. My grandbabies can say, Susie, make this for me. And my kids can say, you know, mommy made this for me. Yeah, so that is the one that I'm working on. I love crocheting. I love using my hands, really. I love using my hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, that is. So, guys, this is what happened with my hair. When I tried to color it. I guess nothing happened, huh? <laughs> Modest. Not a thing happened. See there? No color. And I left the coloring in there for an hour. They say 45 minutes. Didn't work out. So if you go in the store, guys, and you see, me not, me not promote them because they're not right. If you go in the street and you see this kiss color and care, you know, say, you have to stay far from it. And even though I mix it with the clear all, it didn't work did not work at all so stick to the evil that you know i know that the one in the purple and green thing works i know that that one works because i've used that one before but this one was my daughter bought this one so i just thought oh well why not use it but see there nothing my hair is just about the same as it was no little language no little twang nothing at all on it it is the same all right that's what's going on with me for today guys so guess what i am going to be checking out i am going to be checking out this thing here <laughs> the only thing i have to do is i have to wear i have to wear it to work so what i do is before let me show you all what i do before with my hair when i'm going to work all right, so when after I wash my hair, I have this um, I have this twisting cream from Cream of Nature, and I also use I also use this. This is the Indian hemp scab. <laughs> My is the head tough. The head tough. It tough bad. The head tough. So I use this Indian hemp scab therapy. And I put it on my scalp while my hair is still moist. Hello, Colleen. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Good to see you. How is your Wednesday going? Yes, and so this 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 Indian hemp, I just go through and put it on my scalp all the way through. 
because I don't want my hair to get done rough and you know I just do this good to see you guys don't forget if you haven't hit the thumbs up button yet it's not too late do not forget to hit the thumbs up button then I do this I put I put the hemp oil all through my hair on the scalp and I massage it in massage it in so my scalp stays nice and moist and healthy okay and then and then with this cream of nature twisting the twisting cream i put the twisting cream in my hair i just lather my hair with it just like that we shall have a grand time up in heaven I do that okay put it all over and then I just grab pieces of my hair like this just just like a handful I grab a handful put some more twisting cream on it and then I plait the dreads Just make some chunky plaits. And while I'm plaiting, you see how I do? I twist it. I twist each plait around my finger. Because I want my dreads to come out curly. Yes, I want when they fall down, they look a little springy. And to get that look, I twist them like that. I twist each strand when I'm plaiting it. Twist it. And put it over twist it and put it over yes yeah, just like when you're plaiting your hair same process just that I twist I twist it as I am doing it yeah plait it all the way out Tara is in the house Tara what happened I mean, I was seen a live yesterday. I mean, I say you have a story to tell me, you know. I know you would have had a story to tell. Because you must have had them experiences there. I mean, I was seen at the chat. All right. So I catch it up like this. Put a little bit more twisting cream in it. I'm sorry, guys. I know the men here um, don't have any hair. They don't do this to their hair, but... It's all right, all right. And then I separate it in three, just like you would if you were plaiting. And then I twist each one. You're busy? Oh, you're busy. Okay. You're busy, buddy? Your body busy? Your finger them busy? What busy? <laughs> okay, guys. And I just twist it like that. Twist it and plait it all the way down. To come all the way down to the end, some of it is a little lumpy-ish. So you do it just like that. And this is how I maintain these dreads on this head. I twist and plait them. Oh, you've been you've been busy, Tara. What are you busy doing? Okay. Sometimes it turns out to be like a little. A little a little lump <laughs> sometimes it turns out to be a little lump of hair but whatever the case is I just do it just like that 
just like that i'm glad to see you though tarot glad to see you as always it's always my pleasure seeing you in the chat i appreciate your company sometimes your company runs short but i still appreciate it because i know you you always come bearing gifts <laughs> hey, Tara, you always come bearing gifts gifts of thumbs ups and gifts of comments and I appreciate you, even if you don't bear any gift. Just the fact that you come. I am happy when you come. I'm happy to see you, my friend. And my friend, Colin. Colin, I see you working the lives. When I got up this morning, I saw that you were on lab again. I said, where? When does Colin sleep? Colin is on, I went to bed with Colin on live. I woke up, Colin is on live. When does he sleep? <laughs> oh my gosh, Colin, I'm messing with you. Yeah, this one is a little bumpy, so it's not, uh, it's not locking. I just have to see if I find me a, I find me a bobby pin right here. And then I put them together and then I bobby pin them together so that they stay together just like that right and then I move right along and then I move right along put a little more of this thing in there this curling curling gel they call it welcome into my life guys welcome into the chat i was for those of you who are just coming in i was trying to show you all how i color my hair and i use the word trying to show you i'll use the word trying deliberately because that's what was happening here initially i was i was showing you all how i color my hair but apparently this color that i used did not do what it said it was supposed to do did not say did not do what it said it was going to do and even though i had followed the instructions you can see my hair is still dark it did not bleach it at all so i'm going to have to wait for maybe a, a few weeks maybe two mm. weeks I'm going to have to wait for maybe two weeks and then I am going to have to attempt it again to make sure that I get what I want because it's just not working. Just not working at all. All right. And then I have to flat this up. And I just have to do all of this. Let me see if I can finish it for you all. But welcome into the live, guys. I thank everybody who has come to spend time with, with me. Watch me do this thing. And verify with me that it did not work. That the coloring did not work at all. If you have not yet hit that like button, go ahead and hit the like button. Do not forget. And I thank you for hitting the like button. And for those of you who shared out the stream, I appreciate it for everybody who came in and experienced this with me. I appreciate it. Simple things and Desreen and Chia modest and um who else was here jy was here and so too was mecca media and ali from home job success and um who else was here there was a triple c triple c crochet there is my friend colin is here there is tarot is here 
my friend Oro, my friend Teresa, um, which of my friends again were here? I think I did I see Prinny? I think Prinny was here. Um, modest, simple things. Simple things was here as well. Um, who else? I I don't think I can remember everybody who was here. Though I try, I think Lorraine stopped by. I think um, I saw somebody else said she was at work. I forgot who that was. Yeah. Yeah, some of these dreads don't plot. And I have no more bobby pins, I don't think. But I have this little thing here that I can use. Just use whatever you have. You have bobby pins. You have these little pins. Use them. There you go. Get the hair together. If you have rubber bands and you want to put the rubber bands at the ends to hold it together, use the rubber bands. Use whatever you have. Get it together. And then I am going to leave this to dry dry it and then later on when you all see me on live when you all see me on live later you will see what my hair looks like after all of this okay after all of this guys you will see what it looks like later on live that's when it, there's going to be the big reveal of what this hair looks like around the back here is a little bit short so what i do what I do to get the back here together is I put the cream in it and then I drop some cornrows in it. I drop some cornrows in it and that gives me the same effect. It gives me the same curly effect that I'm trying to achieve here. And I just twist it. Just do, do regular cornrows. Do regular cornrows in the back. There it is. See it? Right. You do regular cornrows just like that. And you clip it up. And before you know it, it will be just as curly and just as twisty as if you had plait it. The only thing is, I don't have any more bobby pins. That's the only thing. But anyway, we will work with whatever we have. And whatever we don't have, we won't stress it out. There we go. There we go. And that is it, guys. I will see you all later. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching this dying fail. I will come back and show you later the end results. All right, guys, so thank, thanks again for everybody who came into the live, came into the chat, those who kept the chat going. I thank you all so much. So until next time, guys, this is Trev from Trevessence, reminding you all, as always, to take good care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all later. All right? Ciao. Bye-bye.